Hey everybody, it seems like in the world of travel trailers these days, even the smallest little trailers have slide outs on them. Well, what came before the slide out? Of course, it was the pop up trailer. And today we're taking a look at this unit right here. This is the Apex Nano and it's a hybrid. It combines the best aspects of a hard wall trailer with one of those classic pop ups that you know and love from the time when you were a kid. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the features on this thing, how these pop up works, and then of course, we'll talk about the value. Thank you to Campkins RV Center in Myrtle, Ontario for providing the unit in today's video. First of all, I'd like to talk about why you'd even go with a pop-up trailer still. And I think the answer has to do with weight, cost, and complexity. So first the weight, and let's take a look at the stickers right here on the side of the trailer. So first we can see the gross vehicle weight rating is 1,724 kilograms. And that's gonna be your total weight once this trailer is maxed out with water. And that means that this thing is totally mid-size truck towable. Any mid-sizer is gonna to tow this trailer with no issue whatsoever. A half ton will be overkill. The trailer we're looking at today specifically is the 15X. So first of all, you can see the entire floor plan right there. And then maybe more importantly, some of the numbers. So the hitch weight, the tongue weight on this trailer is 360 pounds. Carrying capacity is 860. Your total GVWR, 3,800 pounds. And the entire length of this trailer isn't even quite 20 feet. It's 18 foot seven inches. The other thing making this trailer so light are the Asdell composite panels. And actually, if you look right in here, you can see that's the composite panel right there. It's essentially uh, plastic and fiberglass all sandwiched together. And that is replacing the wood studs that a lot of these cheaper trailers would use. They replace that wood with the Asdell. That is gonna last a lot longer. It's quite a bit lighter. And of course, it's not gonna rot like wood will. There are two pop-ups on this trailer. Here's the one in the rear end, there's the other one in the front. And realistically, you're gonna get two people sleeping in here comfortably. Now, what I really like about these pop-ups is you can open up all of these screens and really let the fresh air in. So on a cool summer night, this is gonna be a nice place to sleep. But something you cannot forget, when you're sleeping out here, you have no protection from sound. So if your neighbors in the campsite are partying, you're gonna hear everything when you're sleeping out here. Something that you should not forget. And you're definitely going to have neighbors because this is the kind of trailer that you want to go to a campsite in. It's not set up for dry camping. Now we get to our connections. There's your power and of course your ca cable or satellite TV hookup for once again once you're in the park. Below that you'll see this trailer has a set of manual stabilizer jacks. Always an important part of any trailer. Definitely want to order those. Now right here you have your city water connection once again for once you're in the park and you want the pressure and right next to it you do have your shower. Now this is a family unit you're going to have your kids and having an exterior shower is incredibly helpful for washing those kids off coming in from the beach or the park or anywhere at all. There's not a huge shower inside so always nice to have the exterior. Now moving forward here you get the back of your fridge and the back of the heater and all the venting you need and then up front here this is where you're going to fill your water tank. Now it's a bit weird to me that your water hookups are so spaced apart, something to keep in mind. And this is a 30 gallon freshwater tank. So again, you're not taking a ton of water with you. You're gonna wanna go somewhere that has a water hookup. Now, moving forward, once again, you do have manual stabilizer jacks in the front too. And come around this side, I will show you the storage in the front of this trailer. So there isn't a ton of storage here, but you actually have two different pass-throughs. There's this one up front here. It's all the way through, but it's really skinny. That's gonna be good for, I don't know, pool noodles, stuff like that. And then moving back here, you don't have a full pass-through because there are some tanks in the middle. You do have a pretty generous space here though. And one of my favorite features, and this might seem like a little thing, but when you open these up, magnets. A lot of trailers, they still have those little plastic hooks. They're a pain in the butt. It's nice to be able to open it, 
let it sit there. Magnets, that is definitely the way to go. Now, above my head here, we do have a powered awning on this unit. So once again, you're just hitting the button, that will come out. Nicely tinted windows for privacy and to keep the heat out. And again, the, the floor plans are always a little different. On this unit, the door is actually right here all the way at the back. Let's go ahead and jump inside now and I'll show you around. So like I mentioned, you enter this unit at the back and right here at the back is your first pop-out bed. You get quite a bit of space back there. Two adults is gonna be able to sleep in there no problem whatsoever. You'd probably even jam four kids back there if you had to. Uh, that's what really makes the pop-ups handy. They're not expensive, they don't add weight, but you do get quite a bit of space out of them. Now moving forward, you do have a bathroom with a solid door. We'll get in there in a second, but you walk up here into the kitchen. Now, not a ton of counter space over here to actually work at, definitely keep that in mind, but you do get a full double sink, you do get two burners up here, and then this is an interesting choice, the microwave is actually down here below, almost like your oven would be, rather than being up top. Now under the microwave, you do have a generous storage, under the sink, you would also have a good amount of storage, and putting the microwave down there allows you to have even more pantry storage up here. Now behind me, of course, is the fridge. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Now this is not, this is actually a big fridge. It's just not a huge freezer. The freezer is just this small little ice box up here in the top. So you're not gonna be freezing a lot of stuff, but still lots of space to keep stuff cold. Up above the fridge here is interesting. Rather than storage, this is where your television will go. This is a mounting spot for your TV. And then if you're sitting down here on the couch, you're able to look straight up at it. Here's your two sitting areas. You got a table and you have a couch, both of which will fold down and become beds. Now over here with your table, you're also getting quite a bit of storage because once you peel these cushions off, there's plywood panels underneath revealing all of that storage underneath your seats. You get that under both seats, so that is quite a bit. And then like I said, this will totally fold flat now let's set up this pop-up bed in the front. So once it's been folded out from the exterior, you have a bar in here that you have to fold up like so, which is gonna hold up that exterior corner and that exterior wall. Then the mattress here also has a little flip down section and that slides out. And then the most important part is this bar right here. So you actually have this separate bar, which is gonna install right here in the middle, right above your head, to make sure that all the material here is held nice and tight. And once that end is in, you bring this end up like this, and it pops right in there, and boom! There is your front pop-up bed all set up. Of course, here in the nose, you have this other pop-up, and if you do want privacy, there are full screens you can pull across to try to get away from your family. Now, up here, the other thing I wanna point out, lots of storage, two on this side, two on this side, plus your full radio setup, Bluetooth, everything you could want is right there, and all of that storage space. For a young family, this is way more than enough storage, no problem. Now finally, the only actual room in this entire unit is the bathroom, let me show you. This shower does have a little skylight up here, but sadly it's not quite enough for me. Now I stand at 6'2", uh, about two more inches I'd be comfortable, so if you're shorter than me, you'll be good. If you're taller, no good. And that all has to do with the plumbing there in the floor. You know what, in a lot of other units it's built more into the floor, the shower is quite raised up. Now, the toilet is not bad, although so again, it's a little close to the door. So sitting here with the fully door closed, you're gonna be hitting your knee on that door. This is a tight bathroom, everyone. The one thing I do appreciate though, is storage in the form of that medicine cabinet above the sink right there. That's not a bad little space. Plus you get that little itty bitty sink with a couple of plugs over there as well. So this bathroom is definitely just enough, but uh, don't expect to be in there for any length of time in any real level of comfort. 
This trailer is kind of an early three season trailer. Let me explain. So you do have an air conditioner for the hot days and you do have heat for the cold days. But of course you still have pop-ups on either end. Those are not insulated well. They're gonna let your heat escape. So you're not going to want to be out in this trailer when it's really cold. Winter time, definitely not. Early spring, definitely not. Late fall, probably not. That's why I said sort of an early three season trailer. This Apex Nano by Coachman carries an MSRP of about $27,000, but the unit you see right here selling at Campkins is going for a hair over 24 grand Canadian. Now, a small unit like this at that price point has always been about you and your family going camping. But these days, a unit like this is about you and your family escaping the quarantine, and that's what I think this thing is perfect for. So guys, that's it for this trailer review. Make sure you go below leave a comment let me know what you think of this apex nano hybrid as always while you're down there leave a comment hit like hit subscribe and then come back to the channel for the latest news views and real world reviews see ya